And Tim Canale, the all-time great in the ABL, DHing to lead things off. He takes strike number one. Can the starters 281 ERA, and three up, three down for Kennedy in the top of the first in his start. Wouldn't expect anything different in the round two next week at Canberra. This is well struck to right center. Ochoa Jr. into the gap and cannot get there. One hops the wall. Bannister up the second, and he's standing with the leadoff double. With work to do in the bottom of the first. Left that up. One ball, two strikes here to Daryl George. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. He's down chasing a breaking ball. A swing and a miss. Strike three. Five up, five down for John Kennedy in the lefty round one series between the Aces and the Heat. And here is a line drive past the dive of Bird at first. And this is past Sugisawa to the base of the wall. Bowie on his way to second and they're standing with a two out double. Power ready. And a payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. He's got two strikeouts for two innings. Strikes out Fukunaga, two in the one, two, three, second, and he has retired six straight after leadoff double from Bannister in the first. A strike in this third inning. And this struck out to right uh, field. Sugisawa back, turns around. This ball is gone. Boy, that got out in a hurry, set off the top. I didn't think the wind was... Much of a factor this afternoon, and sure enough, Liam Collins, the opposite way into the right field corner, gives Perth a 2-0 lead with the first heat home run of the season. James deals, and a call, strike number three. And he serves this out to right center, down for a B set. Lead off single for George Khalil. Pops this out to right center field, sinking down quickly, and that's good for a big set. Back to back singles from the eight and nine spots in Melbourne's order. Bannister once again squares the butt. Good one laid down, third base side. Smybert, bare hand pick. Throw to first, not in time, gets away. One run scores. Khalil trots in. Cruz held at third. Bannister safe at second. And the Aces are on the board. It's 2 1 here in the bottom of the third. Smybert, a barehead pick, and he just kind of lobbed that weakly over to first. Bowie sprawling off to his right side. Couldn't keep it from getting away. Two and two. Here's the set, the pitch. And he cannot hold up. A big strikeout for Power, his third. 2 1 Perth, bottom three. And a ground ball towards second. That's through for a B set. One run scores. Here comes Bannister. He'll score easily. Two outs and two runs in on a single from Greg Bird. And the Aces lead for the first time this afternoon. It's two RBIs for Greg Bird in an Aces uniform. And now a conversation between John Diebel and Jeff Dunn. One ball and one strike to Ochoa Jr. Grounds this to third. And this is off George. In the shallow left, everybody safe. Martinez to second, Ochoa Jr. at first. Now the pitch. That's flared to center field. Bannister in, now back makes the catch. This will score a run. Throw goes to third. And George grabs it on one hop. The sack fly for Bowie. Ochoa Jr. to third. Bowie with sack fly RBI. And here is James Smybert now with the runner at third. One out, game tied at three in the top of the... And a single back in that second inning. That is way outside, got away from Fukunaga. Runner breaks, throw back, not in time. That took quite the bounce. Now the pitch, rounded to first. And Greg Brewer with a nice play, he'll take it himself. Two outs here in the fourth. Presented opportunities to Perth, and the Heat took advantage. And a cold third strike to end the top of the fourth. Here's the 0-1. And skied out to right. Sugisawa in his tracks. Entering in front of the track. Yeah, makes the catch for out number one. And friendlier today with the win not much of a factor. 2-2. And a cold third strike. Cruz down looking. A nice breaking ball over the inside corner. Power ready again. And here's the pitch. 
Rounded up the middle into center field on the three hit afternoon for Zion Bannister. He is now six for his first 13. And uh, those came in the first two rounds. George pops this up. Who's going to grab it? Armstrong back from second. Still going. Called off at the last second by Collins in the right fielder makes the catch. Bannister thought about running. Instead stays put. Lindenning skies this to left center. The wind carries it, and Ochoa Jr. makes the catch. The inning is over. No runs, a one-out single, a man left. Four through five, four to three Perth from Melbourne Ballpark. And Steele delivers. Got a called strike three. That time, Martinez knew it. A swing and a miss. Got away from Fukunaga. And a throw down to first. It's in time. Back-to-back -back K's for Joe. Three on the right side of the infield. The pitch. And lifted to right center field. Bannister over into the gap. Onto the gall or on the gallop. Makes the catch. Boy, he covers a lot of ground and not a lot of time. And Zion Bannister runs down the final out of a 1-2-3-6. We go to the bottom half. And it is 4-3 per from Melbourne Ballpark. And tries a bunt. Good one. Third base side. Smybert has no option. Looked like he was going to let it roll and see if it might turn foul. Held on there by Bowie. Neither team has run very well in this series. And Mitchell flies this to right. Playable for Collins out number two. Runner goes. 0-1 high. Throw down to second. Tag is there, but Sugisawa is saving the stolen base. Bang, bang, play. Good throw from Martinez. But Sugisawa is safe and Armstrong 0-for-1 with a walk and a run scored. Rips this in the left field. Cruz gives chase. Can't get there. Down for a base hit. And Armstrong with the one-out single here in the seventh. It's his third hit in this series. And the pitch. Cold strike three. Got a fastball on the lower outside corner. And my. Base is full with two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. And a ground ball, base hit down the left field line. This will give Melbourne a lead. One run in. Here comes Cruz. Bannister right behind him. It's a bases clearing double for Robbie Glendinning. And the Aces have a 6 4 lead at the bottom of the seventh. Four RBIs in the series. Tucks one past the dive of Smybert at third. And with good speed on the base pass, all three score easily. By two in the bottom of the seventh. 1-1. One, one. That stroke got to left center. That's down for a base hit. And gets away from the left fielder, Piguero. Glenn Denning scores. Bird with an RBI single. Now gives Melbourne a 7-4 lead in the bottom of the seventh. Catalyst that both Khalil and Cruz have been in these lopsided innings. Ground ball to short, spikes the second. There's one to first, there's two. So Mitchell bounces into a 6 4 3 double play to end the inning. It's 3 4 and 5 in the first order. 0 oh, 2. Called strike three. Got him looking on the outside corner. Payout pitch. And he cannot check his swing. Rung up. Evan Rutsky is up and warming for the Aces down the right field line with two outs in the eighth. Nobody on base. Melbourne. 0 oh, 2. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Rutsky strikes out Bowie. Three strikeouts in the inning. What he provides in the dugout and also the clubhouse. And a called third strike with the inside corner. Jared Cruz is down looking. Why they scored three. And they take strike three on the outside corner, which has been given all afternoon. He's upset with a call pointing across, but Bannister down looking. Two strikeouts for Bailey. At the pitch. Hit out towards shallow left. Then getting back. Cruz in. And Cruz has it for out number one. Here's the pitch. And a cold strike three up in the zone. Yokoyama. 
with a strikeout to end the game. He struck out final batter last night. The Aces won that six to nothing, and they rally with a big win in game number four of the season, game four of this series.